guys, welcome back to my channel, Mermaid Nina here. Well, I got quite a few requests for this video, so hopefully you guys like it. I got some requests regarding um, the best shoes to wear at Disney or perhaps talking about feet and shoes and all those great things when going to the theme park, right? So whether we're going to Disney World, Disneyland, Universal Studios, it's all the same. Let's talk about feet and shoes regarding those walking vacations. Vacations where you're constantly on your feet and it's hot and it's sweaty and all those good things, right? Yeah, sound good? So like I said, we're gonna talk about feet and or shoes this includes socks and all the things that are kind of related to our toesies yeah <laughs> first thing i do want to mention that shoes are very subjective and it's personal to each individual person and even though i did much research and i did all the polls and all the things and i gathered a bunch of top brand names that majority of people mentioned as their favorite brands to wear to disney the best shoe is actually the shoe that fits you. The shoe that is comfortable to you. Because I don't care if someone else wears X, Y, and Z brand. If you put it on and you're not feeling it, then try something else. Because the shoes that I wear, which you'll find out about, might not be the best shoe for you. So for that reason, I didn't wanna just give you guys what I wear, right? I didn't wanna just tell you what my kids wear. I actually went and did a lot of research and talked to a lot of people and read a lot of things and came up with some good brand names for you guys to kind of try out on your own. Because again, each individual person, each individual foot just requires different things, right? So hopefully uh, this makes sense. But like I said, we're gonna talk about all things feet and shoes in this video. And hopefully this was the video you were looking for, right? So first thing we're gonna start off with are basically things you should consider or look for when purchasing your shoes specifically for theme park vacations. Like I said, walking, heat, sweating, all those things. So just kind of consider this like my shopping tips and tricks. So basically when you're going to find the best shoe for you, think of these things, right? So the first thing, highly important, is you want a shoe that's breathable. Why? Disney Universal, doesn't matter, is hot. You're on concrete, you're on cement, your feet are doing lots of sweating. So having a shoe that is breathable is most definitely gonna be helpful. This next one I have found to be personally important, lightweight. The lighter the shoe, the easier it is for you to walk for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. It's just easier. The heavier shoe that you pick out, it kind of just weighs on you and it can kind of hurt your back as you're walking and all the things. So yes, 100% think of lightweight. If you got two pairs of shoes and you like them both, perhaps pick the one that is more lightweight, if that helps. Next thing up is waterproof and or washable. Now this is very, very important for Florida, Orlando vacations, especially in the summer or rainy months, because you could have a beautiful day and then all of a sudden a Florida downpour happens and your feet will get soaked. So rather than walking around in squishy, gross tennis shoes, consider getting shoes that absolutely are designed for water or are washable so that when you get home, you can take care of those shoes. No one wants to be stuck in squishy, wet, gross shoes all day, especially if it's just the beginning of your vacation and you have days left to go. For this reason, I often suggest that people have two pairs of shoes a normal pair to wear every day, and then a pair to wear specifically if they get stuck in a downpour so they don't have to worry about all that water. But yes, absolutely pick out one pair of shoes for normal days, right? And then a pair specifically designed for puddles or heavy storms. Again, all vacation dates depending. When I go in the winter, it's not usually huge rainy season, so I don't really worry about that. But when I'm going, say, right now, and we're in the middle of potential hurricane season, I'm absolutely going to bring shoes that can get wet. Next up is, this is a huge one for me, make sure your shoes are not new, like brand spanking new, like you just took them out of the box and then you packed them for your trip. Don't do that, please. 
wear your shoes in. I'm not talking you have to bring shoes that are five years old and they're falling off your feet. Buy your new shoes, wear them around the house, take a few walks in the neighborhood, get your feet used to the shoes. Get your shoes used to the your feet. Get used to the way you have to walk and be careful. Some shoes tend to be a little bit more trippy than other shoes, if that makes sense. Like I tend to trip more when I'm wearing a certain pair of shoes. So yes, guys, absolutely avoid the new shoe situation. You want to avoid getting new shoe blisters and new shoe aches and pains. Get that out of the way and get everything used to each other. Your feet, your shoes, your walking, all of that good stuff needs to kind of get used to each other. So yes, no new shoes, no straight out of the box. Wear them in just a little bit. Another thing to think about is socks. I know it sounds stupid, but I cannot tell you how annoying some socks are when you're walking all day long and your feet are sweaty and it's hot and all those things. So you definitely want to avoid socks that when you wear them, they slip underneath your foot inside the shoe. This can happen when people want to wear the no the, the no-show socks, right? Because they don't want to show everyone what socks they're wearing, so they get the little itty-bitty socks that slowly slip underneath your, oh my gosh, it is so unbelievably annoying, and then you're constantly trying to pull your sock up inside your shoe. Just avoid that if you can. I personally like to get socks, and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit later. So these are no-show socks, yep, just what I talked about, but they have a silicone grip in the back that keep them up on my heels so it avoids the issue of them slipping underneath my shoe. And for those people who don't mind not having the no-show and you wanna get proper socks, think of that stuff. You want stuff that maybe is good for sweating, socks that maybe aren't too thick. So yes, definitely want to get proper socks. Think of all the things that are gonna be going on during your theme park vacation, right? Now this one is especially important to kiddos, but it's important to everyone, right? You want to get shoes that are the proper size. Cannot tell you how annoying it is to wear shoes that are too big and shoes that are too small or too tight or too whatever, especially in the heat and sweating and when they get wet, all the things. Make sure you get shoes that are the proper size. Now I said especially for kiddos. I can't tell you how many times I've gone on vacation and I found out within a day that my kids' shoes didn't fit. Because they never told me and I being the mom never checked bad on me. So when you go on vacation, have your kids try on their shoes before you go. Figure out what shoes they're gonna wear, try them on. There is a chance your kiddos have out grown their shoes and they just never told you. And it's not gonna be an issue until they're walking for miles upon miles upon miles in the heat and the sweating and all the things, right? So definitely try on the shoes before you go, before you pack. Make sure your kids are up to date in the most current and correct size. And you wanna do this before you travel, because in my situation, it happened one time and I learned from it is when you go to say Disney Springs or Walmart, you catch a cab, whatever you need to do to go buy your kiddo those new shoes, it's never cheap. It's just, it's just so much better to take care of it before you go on vacation. And just a little side note, I learned this lesson with swimsuits as well. So yes, try on all the things before you go on vacation to make sure everything is the proper size. The next thing here with shoes, and you, you want durable. Like I said, you're walking for days, for miles upon miles. You do not want to get some cheap shoes that you got off the rack somewhere that are going to unfortunately fall apart. So try to get nice shoes. Shoes that are going to hold up due to lots of walking. Again, heat, concrete, rain, sweating, all the things all day long for days at a time. Get decent shoes. Also consider getting shoes with padding or memory foam, right? Because shoes with extra padding may just be more comfortable for you when you're walking for miles upon miles upon miles. You can actually also get padding or memory foam inserts to go inside the shoes. That's a really good option too. Just be careful that they aren't gonna do a bunch of slipping and sliding while you're walking. I can't tell you how annoying it is to get an insert. I put my foot in, I take my foot out, and the insert plus half of the sole of my shoe comes out. It's just a pain in the butt. So that, again, these are things you wanna research and try on and test out to make sure you have the proper situation for you. The other thing absolutely has to be comfortable. This goes along with that padding and memory foam 
If the shoe is not comfortable for you, you are going to have issues. You're going to have blisters and aches and pains, and you're going to complain about your feet the entire day, and you don't want to do that. Any form of theme park vacation, you are on your feet practically 24-7, and it gets to the point where you can't wait to go back to the resort and take off your shoes, and then when you do, you never want to put them on again because your feet are so sore. So do your feet and yourself a favor and make sure your shoes are comfortable. Again, the shoes that work for me may be different from the shoes that work for you. So all these different shoes that I'm gonna talk about that may be comfortable for somebody might not be comfortable for you. So that's why you have to kind of try them on and figure out what works best for your feet. But yes, these are the things I look for when I select my theme park shoe. All the things breathable lightweight good in water right not new you got to get those proper socks if you're gonna wear socks make sure they're the proper size durable think about extra padding and yes it got to be comfortable but we're gonna move on right so what else should we pack when considering our feet at the theme parks well socks I talked about them. We're going to talk a little bit more about them. You want to get lots of socks, especially if you're going now during rainy, hot, sweaty season. Put on a pair of socks before you go out. Throw a pair in your park bag. Halfway through your day when you've sweated through, change them out. Put on some fresh socks. You will absolutely appreciate having fresh socks, especially if you're gonna get into a downpour, your socks got soaked, bring that extra pair so you can change them out after the storm. Also, don't forget to get socks that have an anti-slip feature if you want socks that are no-show. I've got three brands here, hopefully one of them works out. They all have the silicone strip on the back. So the first pair I actually got at Costco, they're Pumas, they have this, I don't know if you guys are gonna see it, I'm gonna try. See that silicone grip right there? That little strip of silicone helps keep the back of the sock on my heel so that when I'm walking and walking, my socks stay up. This other pair I have, sorry, they're a little dirty. Um, this is by Saucony. It's the same thing. They have a little silicone strap in the back. These were from Amazon. And the next pair here I have are Bombas which uh, used to be online only. Now you can get them pretty much anywhere. In fact, I love these socks. They make these socks that are a little higher, so not just the no-show, uh, but a little higher. They're usually very comfortable. Absolutely love them. But this pair also has, see this one, you can see them a lot better. You see that silicone strip? So that just that little bit of silicone helps keep the socks up. That is if you're looking for the no-show socks. If you don't care about showing off your socks, then yes, absolutely look for something that's really, really comfortable. They make socks designed for runners that kind of have some moisture wicking to them. Think of those kind of things. Don't just get your generic white socks that you buy in the package because those might not be what's best for you. Next up is to make sure you pack Band-Aids or blister aids for your feet. Even with all the things that we're discussing, comfortable shoes, not new, the proper socks, Blisters happen, guys, and I don't think Disney sells this on property, so you definitely want to go to the store, get your own pack, throw them in your park bag, and be ready for it. Um, I actually just take a few of these out. I don't need to pack the whole box. I take a few out. They're really, really thin. Pop them in my park bag. You don't even know they're there. Sometimes I use them. Sometimes I don't, but it's being prepared for the potential blister that is really, really helpful. Also, you can get a foot glide or even use deodorant on your feet. Why? For anti-chafing. Again, this is a thing. So many people have these issues with the blisters and the sore feet. So do the things to help prevent that because happy feet, happy vacation, I promise you. And I know it sounds weird, but duct tape. <laughs> If for some reason you are going with a pair of shoes that maybe aren't as durable or a little bit on the older side, I can't tell you how many times I found out my kid's shoes kind of like ripped by the toe. I was so thankful I had some duct tape to kind of patch it up a little bit. Again, it's not pretty, it's not amazing, but it's better than completely uh, losing the shoe and having to go buy a whole new pair. A little bit of duct tape can help out in a pinch, but are you guys ready to talk about 
brand names. I absolutely promised that I would do this. So again, I put a bunch of polls out there, asked a bunch of questions, did my own research, and came up with a list of brand names for you guys to try in addition to what I personally wear. Ready? So these are my top brand names that people tend to pack for both Disney and Universal and theme park vacations. Now, I'm gonna warn you guys right now, the shoe that I wear might 100% not be the shoe for you. I'm warning you right now. For the past several years, I have exclusively only worn Birkenstocks. That is right, I wear them all year long at home and at the theme parks. I only wear these, only. I wear them in the winter time as well. This is what I wear. I absolutely love these because they have a little thong up here so my, you know, my toe is nice and snug. They don't fall off my feet. I don't have to worry about them slipping and falling off a of Soren and all those things. Um, they're not really great for puddles, so I do bring a different brand for that situation, but for the most part, this is what I'm wearing to Disney Universal, Disneyland Cruise. I wear them at home 24-7. However, I do not, and I repeat, do not recommend Birkenstocks for the majority of the people, right? They really aren't the ideal shoe for lots of walking and sweating and whatever. I wear them because it's what my feet enjoy. I wear them at home all the time. It's what my feet are used to. When I take long walks in the neighborhood, this is what I'm wearing. My feet 100% are used to Birkenstocks. In fact, this is a new pair that I've been wearing in for the past month because I have a trip coming up and I didn't want to have them be brand new again out of the box. So I've been wearing them in for a couple of weeks. But anyway, yes, so I do not suggest Birkenstocks for the majority of the people, but I do wear them because my feet are my feet sweat. My, my feet sweat bad and it's gross and I don't like wearing socks. I like my toes to be free and breathe. And so yes, I am a Birkenstock person. If you are someone who wears Birkenstocks often, maybe they work for you, but like I said, I don't recommend them for most people. They're what I do, what I wear. I'm comfortable in them, but maybe you will not be. So just a heads up on that. Uh, if I have to wear actual shoes, right, I usually will wear Converse or Vans. Again, this is what I have been wearing since I was a kid. My feet are used to these types of shoes. They aren't necessarily for everyone, but I absolutely will rock out some Converse or some Vans or some Skechers with memory foam absolutely love these shoes wear them to the gym wear them when i work out so yeah in a pinch if i need to wear shoes while i'm at disney coming soon i've got a video about it <laughs> these are the shoes i will bring again sketchers with memory foam and when i asked a bunch of people what types of shoes they would wear sketchers actually did come up so that's a good brand to uh, consider but like i said these might not be the shoes for you because a lot of people need arch support maybe i don't need arch support as much and a lot of people need ankle support i'm not quite there yet because my feet are used to these now when my feet are aching, <laughs> I exclusively wore these for years at the theme park, especially when I was pregnant or I was dealing with some feet swelling issues, and that is Crocs. And I felt ridiculous sa sa saying Crocs, like suggesting you wear Crocs. But when I did the research, a good chunk of people, like a third of the people, said Crocs. So yeah, this is not just me, folks. A lot of people wear Crocs at the theme park. I don't know what it is about Crocs. They are so unbelievably comfortable and they're breathable. They have little air holes right here. Uh, most people will wear them at so with socks at the theme park so it doesn't stink up a little bit. But yes, absolutely love myself some Crocs. You can wear them in the water too. So if it rains and it gets all puddly, these are just like silicone plastic. They just dry out and you can wear them again. You don't have to worry about that weird squishy wet sneaker situation, right? But like I said, if it's rainy season, if it's wet season and I am worried, I will bring an additional pair of shoes in addition to my Birkenstocks because I don't want to ruin the you know cork and the things that are inside my Birkenstock. So if you're looking for water shoes for wet situations, I 100% suggest Keens or Chacos. 
These are my Chacos. I actually custom designed them by, you know, you can pick out your own colors and patterns. And so I picked out uh, this design here, but these are perfect. Again, they have the little thong for your toe to keep them on your feet. You don't have that slipping and sliding. They're, your feet are breathing because it's just like a sandal, but you're strapped in pretty good. They're 100% washable. They can get wet. You can go hiking with them. I wear them on cruises. Absolutely love my Chacos. Um, for kids, my kids exclusively wore these for years. They're just like Keens, although I think one of these is Merrill and one of these is Saucony. Um, got them both at either Stride Right or Amazon. Uh, you can get them, but they're the same kind of thing as Keens, right? Breathable with all this air kind of going through it, right? They're designed for water, for splashing. You just dry them out and you're good to go. So consider these types of shoes when you're going over the summer, you're going over wet and rainy season. So hopefully that helped you guys out a little bit, but I promised you, in addition to what I wear, in addition to what my family wears, here's a list of five brands for you to research and check out. And I did look, you can get them all on Amazon if that helps you out. So again, not personally tried and true by me, but by many other people. When I did the poll, like a thousand people answered and the majority of them said these brands in addition to what I already told you, right? So the first one is Brooks. Brooks is like a traditional athletic looking sneaker situation. They did look like they were very lightweight and very breathable. Now a good chunk of the people that wrote down Brooks referred to the ghost. So I looked it up. Brooks has a designer style called ghost. A lot of people highly suggested that. So make sure you guys are taking, taking notes. And again, I'm gonna pop up a few pictures. The next one, and I'm probably saying it wrong, is UFOs. Someone correct me in the comments. O-O-F-O-S. Now this company made what looked like really durable walking flip-flops, but they also made um, like slip-on shoes with support. Now I love the idea of this because I can't tell you how annoying it is to find out your shoelace got untied and you have to stop and tie your shoelace while you're at the theme park. So I absolutely love the idea that these are slip-ons, but yes, they had all the support and stuff in them designed for people that need that arch support and stuff like that. So definitely look those up. The next one I thought was interesting. It's a company called Hey Dudes. Anyone remember a, t a TV show back in the day called Hey Dude? Yeah, I used to watch it. Anyway, uh, these are easy to wash. Yeah, very good during wet and rainy season and travel friendly shoes. These also looked super close to slip on. They looked very thin, very breathable, very durable. They actually showed a picture where the shoe kind of folds in flat, therefore being travel friendly. I will be honest, I've never really heard of this company before, but so many people mentioned this brand. So if you like the look of Hey Dudes, go ahead and give them a try. Next one up is Hoka or Hookah. Not sure how to say this one. Um, I've, I've heard of this brand. I have seen this brand several times. Again, these are traditional looking athletic shoes that have all the comfort and the foam and the things built inside them to make them uber duper comfortable for lots of walking. Again, a lot of these were kind of athletic looking shoes. The last one on my list was called On Clouds. Yeah, I'm assuming it's because they've got some memory foam or some squishy soft goodness inside to make them uber duper comfortable. Again, um, athletic looking shoes. So traditional looking shoes with the laces and everything else. So these are the top five brands that everyone had mentioned. In addition, like I said, a lot of people said Crocs, which surprised me because I thought it was just me for years, uh, but they specifically mentioned Crocs with socks, yeah? Like I said, Skechers were mentioned quite a bit, and so were Tevas. Tevas are similar to the Chacos. Tevas are actually what my husband wears if we're dealing with a downpour. So similar to Chacos, they have straps and their sandals, and they're great for hiking, water. We wear them on cruises. So yes, absolutely. And then one or few people mentioned Keens, and a few people actually mentioned Birkenstocks, which uh, shocked me, so yes. These are the top brand names or shoes and things to consider when going on a theme park 
vacation. But in the end, you definitely wanna do your own research and you definitely wanna get what's best for your feet. Now, I'm gonna to be totally honest. The kids and the husband wear completely different brands of shoes for me. So like I said, it's not one size fits all, it's not one shoe fits all feet kind of situation. I told you guys I am Birkenstocks pretty much the whole time I'm at Disney. My husband, not so much. He actually thinks it's ridiculous that I wear Birkenstocks because he claims they're giving me zero support, even though my feet have been happy for years. Anyway, he likes to wear walking shoes, traditional athletic looking shoes. He's constantly bending over to tie his shoes. He even will wear hiking uh, shoes, not boots, hiking shoes to Disney, again, to each their own, right? My son almost exclusively will wear his Vans. He likes the, the ease of the slip-on, which is, you know, Vans. Uh, when it's, you know, wet, rainy, he will wear his Keens. Now my daughter, she will wear Crocs the entire time, despite the fact that I've told her to be careful because Crocs can get a little slippery. She will absolutely wear her Crocs with socks. Yep, so anyway, guys, I hope this is the video you were looking for. I basically, what I'm trying to say is feet are so important, so important, especially on vacations where you're just walking constantly. So you really need to get what your feet need. You need to be prepared and enjoy it, right? So research the things I've mentioned, try on a few pairs, wear them in at home before you pack them for your vacation. And don't forget about extra things like socks with the anti-slip grip on the back. Yeah, your blister aids and maybe foot glide and other things to help with, you know, chafing and all the things that can happen to your feet. Because happy feet, happy Disney Universal vacation, yeah? <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this is what you were looking for. I'm sorry to say that I haven't tried on all the shoes everywhere, but I was trying to give you guys a more complete video than just telling you what I wear, but what other people wear as well. So let me know in the comments if this video was helpful. And as always, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If the subscribe button is red, please click it, turn it gray, hit the bell icon for notifications. Like this video, like I said, comment. Tell me if the video was helpful, but then also, do you wear one of these brands that you exclusively wear and love? Put it in the comments. Or do you have a different brand that I didn't mention? Put that in the comments because it helps us all out, right? And as always, please, please, please share my videos, share my content with family and friends and on social media. Helps us both out to do that. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's what you were looking for. Let me know in the comments. But as always, guys, mahalo for watching. Nina out. Bye, guys.